Hello everyone, my name is Hannah Poulton and I own HLP Therapy and the Positive C-Section. I'm a senior physiotherapist and a scar specialist, specialising in C-section scars and recovery. I'm also an acupuncturist and collectively I have over 20 years experience within the physiotherapy industry. Today I'm talking to you about why your scar might pull. Now this could be a c-section scar or it could be any other scar on your body. So if you have two minutes, listen and see if it resonates with you. I have a trusty assistant with me, Beverly the Bear. And what we're going to be talking about with Beverly the Bear is fascia. What that is and why that impacts your scar. So fascia is like this net that you can see. It covers us, all humans have it, all over our body, right from our head to our toes. And this fascial connection is a collagenous, sticky, sliding, gliding, moving web-like structure, which covers our whole body. It goes through those deep layers of our skin and through our muscles and over our skeletal system to almost hold us together. We're looking at fascia in a new way and there's more and more research that's coming out about fascia. Now, why am I talking about this and what does that mean to you? Well, if you see on Beverly the Bear here, when you stretch your neck up, you can see that fas those fascial connections, that net, pulling up as she's stretching up. If she's stretching her arm out to the side, you can see those fascial connections pulling left and right across her chest. So what happens then when you have a C-section? So the surgeon comes along very expertly, makes the incision in your skin and through those seven layers to get to your uterus to get your baby out. So they sew them up very expertly and you're left with that scar on the top. And what happens to those fascial connections? Well, you can see now already that that net is pulled down because of the scar that was there and now it's pulled down from the bottom, uh, up from the bottom and down from the top. And can you see now, when I move the head back, how tight that is? But look at this, when you start to move your arms, it pulls through. And if I hold that close together like a scar would be, if you move this side of the arm back, you can see it pulling. And of course, this doesn't represent the pulling that you might feel round the sides, into your hips, round into your lower back, and also down into your pelvic floor region. So I hope that explains slightly that when you've had a C-section or maybe breast surgery or any uh, scars that are formed along your body, that actually the scar, once it's healed and sewn back together, may impact on those fascial connections underneath the surface of your skin. And some scars wind down really deeply, especially if you're looking at a C-section surgery. And of course, that winding down will pull on those fascial connections that are under the skin, through your muscle, over your muscle and over your bones. And that will have that pulling effect over many different aspects of your body. So my lovely clients say to me in my clinics, um, it doesn't pull unless I do this and look up to the ceiling. Well, that's because that fascial connection has been involved in the recovery of that scar and now it's pulling in that region. So I hope this short video with Beverly the Bear goes to help you understand a little bit better why your scar may pull. And for more information, follow me on Instagram and YouTube under HLP Therapy and find more free tips and advice on how you can recover well and learn more about your scar recovery. Take care. Bye bye.